So we have four eggs with four pounds of extra lean beef. We're bringing in some Italian breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use about a half of a cup here. Delightful. We're bringing in some mustard. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons or so. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. There we go. I'm using a Dijon mustard. That's my favorite. You guys use whatever mustard you'd like. We have about a half of a cup of sour cream. Again, I'm just gonna eyeball this one here. I'm running out of this one, so I'm just gonna use whatever's left in my package and hope that it's about a half a cup. That looks about right. Great. We have some low sodium Worcestershire sauce. You guys, let me know if I said that right. If not, please correct me, that's a tough one. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of that. This adds really great flavor to the meat. We have some dried minced onion. Ooh, Yum. I like that. Yes. I'm not very good at chopping onion and it makes me cry, so I'm using some dried onion today. We have some big garlic chunks here. These are freeze dried as well for convenience. They're great flavors. Love it. Love it. And some Italian seasoning, of course. Really tie it all in. Wow. So great. Let's give this a bit of a mix, get all those eggs incorporated here with our seasoning and our Worcestershire sauce and our mustard. Really great flavor combos here. Wow, it smells really great already. It smells so great. And it really just help, helps to enhance the beef flavor. Definitely. You know, you don't want your beef to taste boring and bland. So, okay, wow, that's looking awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this on top of our beef. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a really good dinner. You guys are gonna love this one. This is something I like to make for my family every week because it's, it fills their tummies up and it gives them muscles, lots of nutrients, really good. All right, now, whenever you're working with meat, make sure you wash your hands before and after, but this is the best way to get our meat mixed up and covered with our breadcrumbs and our eggs. We really just want this all incorporated well. You can also wear gloves. I grew up washing my hands. That's what my grandma taught me, what my mom taught me. But if you guys use gloves, let me know in the comments. Are you a glove wearer or are you a hand washer? All right, I'm gonna give my hands a quick wash. We have our pre-greased bunt pan and we're just gonna take our meat concoction here and we're just gonna press it down into the bottom of our bunt pan. Definitely wanna make sure to pre-grease it just a bit. The beef is gonna create a little bit of moisture, but you wanna make sure that it doesn't stick to the pan. I would never think to use a bunt pan. I know, this is seriously gonna be the best dinner, you guys. Just gonna give that a little press, make sure that that is all into those little creases on the bottom, right? We don't want any air holes. All right, you guys, this is looking like it is ready to go in the oven. So I set our oven to 350 degrees and it goes. All right, you guys, so this is about halfway through our baking process. We are just gonna go ahead and add some ketchup to this. You can, of course, use barbecue sauce or you can make your own little sweet and sour sauce, whatever you wanna do for your meatloaf. I'm doing ketchup. And when you add it halfway through the baking process, then it kind of caramelizes on top. Yum. This looks great already. So great. And if you see that there's a lot of grease, you can also take it out and kind of drain it a bit and then put it back in. All right, you guys. So we will be back to check on our food in a few more minutes. Yummy. All right, you guys. So I had this in the oven for about an hour. I also used a meat tester to make sure that it was at least 160 degrees. All right, you guys, here we go. We're gonna flip it. This is exciting. All right. Ooh, it's still a little hot. <gasps> Yum. Wow. Okay, this meatloaf is looking great. It smells incredible, but you know what? It's so not complete without some mashed potatoes. Gotta have meatloaf and mashed potatoes. So I went ahead and pre-made these. Oh yeah, so you can have your display of mashed potatoes with your meatloaf, make it a complete meal. 
Definitely delicious. This is such a great idea. Oh my gosh, and it's so much fun. Like kids are gonna love this. This is great for, you know, if you're having a dinner party. We are gonna bring in some butter for our mashed potatoes, of course. And we're gonna add some more ketchup for our meatloaf. Definitely. There we go. You can use barbecue sauce as well, like I mentioned before, or make your own kind of soft sauce gravy. I'm going for ketchup. And here we are, a beautiful, well-balanced dinner, everything you need in a meal, and it looks great too. Should we bite into this? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I kind of don't want to ruin the display though. It looks so fabulous, but I really got to try it. It smells so good. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that meat is cooked perfectly. I'm gonna scoop up some of those mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness, you guys. Yum. Going for a big bite here. Oh yeah, mashed potatoes and meat all in one. Gotta love this hearty, cozy dinner, you guys. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's so good, so good.